Good morning, Year 10. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the Australian taxation system, and I wanted to talk about Medicare levy and PAYG. So, two important terms, two important things, so that we can then calculate our tax debts or tax refund funds for our financial year. Uh, so, firstly, Medicare levy. I just typed it up on the computer. Medicare levy, and as we can see, it's currently 2% of your taxable income. I know your textbook says 1.5%. However, it's been 2% for the last few years as it increased. And what Medicare levy does is it helps to pay for all the health services in Australia. So what we'll do is we'll just firstly get our notes. Medicare levy, okay, is an extra tax to Australia to only the Australian citizens. Okay, so Medicare levy is an extra tax to Australian citizens. So some people in Australia that are working are not paid the or sorry not are paid do not have to pay the Medicare levy. That's because it's, it would be unfair to them because they do not, uh, what do I say, they do not get cover by, say, a Medicare card. So a lot of families, you might have one, have a Medicare card so you can go to the doctor for free. Uh, that is paid for by this Medicare levy. Okay, so it's an extra tax that we pay, but it's only for the people that actually will be able to get the Medicare card. So everybody pays a small percent so that then if you do need to go to the doctor, it will pay for it. So everybody's paying for you to go to the doctor. So Medicare levy is an extra tax to Australian citizens. It is charged at 2%. At 2% of your taxable income. Now, I should write some things about this. So if you are a low income earner, you do not pay 2% of your taxable income. There is actually a threshold. I think it's the 18,200. It might, uh, might have changed. But if you're a low income earner, then you don't actually pay the Medicare levy. Uh, however, there's also a surcharge for the, far, for the high income earner. Earners. Okay, you need to be quite a you need to be on quite a good pay to get this Medicare levy surcharge. So, for example, a teacher like myself, I actually don't earn enough money to be able to um, to be to have this Medicare levy surcharge applied as well. So, it could be more than two percent if you have to pay a Medicare levy surcharge if you are a high income earner. And sometimes high income earners have a thing called a health fund or a private health fund, so that they can avoid paying the surcharge. It's only for people that don't have a, um, a private health fund. Okay, so for most people, it's just 2% of your taxable income. So what does this mean for us? Uh, in our previous session, we looked at a thing called income tax. Okay, and hopefully you got this. And we saw that if you had... I'll just use this example. If you had a taxable income of 50000 you paid a $7,797 income tax, we would add to this the Medicare levy. Okay, we'll add to this the Medicare levy. So let's go through and then see what that is. So 50000 was 7797 So e.g., um, for an income, for a for a taxable income of fifty thousand dollars, then what you would pay is your income tax. Income tax was equal to, and then we got our calculations and said seven thousand seven hundred and ninety seven dollars. And then we have our Medicare levy, which is 
and this is our next step of our calculations, 2% of the 50,000. So we just write 2% times $50,000, and then we get our calculator. So here's uh, my calculator here, and I just type in 2%. You could do 2 over 100 if you want, times $50,000, and that's 1,000. Okay, so that's $1,000, and then we say, therefore, the total tax payable is the income tax plus the Medicare levy, so you actually are paying $8,797 of your $50,000 that you uh, earned as tax. Okay, so $7,797 as income tax, and the Medicare levy tax is $1,000. Um, so that's the first one. I'll put a second example just to go through that whole thing soon. But I want to talk about the next thing, which is PAYG, or some, um, some people say PAYE. Okay, so PAYG, or P. I just did an E. That's okay, I'll just or P A Y G. So this is like pay as you go or pay as you earn. Okay, so what this does is instead of at the end of the financial year you get to you know you get to July and you have to pay you have to pay eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay. Instead of that actually happening we know that many Australians don't budget to actually get this um, nine thousand dollars at the at that in one off lump payment. So instead, what we do is we do regular payments through the year to help pay for this total tax payable. Okay, so P A Y E or P A Y G are compulsory. Um, payments from your income okay, to pay for the, the total tax payable. Now, your employer actually has to, by law, they have to take money out of your income every single pay slip um, for what is expected to be your total tax, tax payable. So, for example, if, the, if you are on a $60,000 income, the government knows you know, exactly how much they think that you'll be paying as a total tax, so they will take away this money um, through every single pay slip so that there is no tax payable at the end of the financial year. Now the problem is, is it's just a guess and that means that at the end of the year we actually check our balances and see sometimes you might have to pay the government more money or sometimes you've been paying the, the PAYG has been too much through the year and you actually get some money back. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to talk about calculating a tax debt or tax refund. Okay, so let's look at this is the most important thing: calculate, calculating our tax debt or refund. Okay, and I will put this as our big heading because this is a really important thing and it's quite has a quite a lot of steps to go through to work it out. So I'll go through two examples and see if we can if we can see the different steps that's involved. Okay? So EG let's just make a really basic example. John has a taxable income of sixty thousand dollars 
end has paid. Um, let's let's have a think. Maybe they've paid uh, two hundred and ten dollars per week. Two hundred and ten dollars per week as a P A Y G. Okay, so we know his taxable income, and we know how much how much tax he's been paying a week. And the question is, is will he get money back at the end of the year? Has he paid too much tax, or will he have a tax refund and get some of the money he's paid back? Will he have a tax debt, or will he have a tax refund? And the way we calculate this is we firstly have to work out his total tax payable. Okay, so we check that. We say his income tax. Now, hopefully you guys can... Um, work out his income tax, we'll use the tax table. So let's look at the table for $60,000. It's 3572 plus 32.5% over 37. Okay, 3572 plus 32.5%. Let's see if I remember that. So it's income tax was 3572 plus 32.5% of his income over 37,000. So what is his... So this is hopefully the calculation you did yesterday and we could just type it in our calculator and work out what his income tax is first. So 3572 plus 32.5% of what is his 60,000 over 37,000. If that was too quick, I'm sure you could uh, pause it to just check to make sure you got that. But his income tax is $11,047. His Medicare levy is 2% of $60,000. So 0.022% of $60,000. And that is $1,200. Okay, so the other one is the Medicare. Oops, spelled it wrong. Levy is 2% of $60,000 which was 1200 and therefore his total tax is, uh, what is the sum of those, $12,247. Okay, that's what he should have paid. So I'll put this here. This is what he should have paid. Now, did he actually pay that much? That's what we want to check and see. He should have paid this through the financial year. So what we then do is we check what he actually did pay. So his total PAYG, his total pay as you go, or pay as you earn. I did G, I did not E instead of a G, doesn't really matter. Um, I forget what is actually in your syllabus, I forget now um, which letter that you meant to use. But the total PAYG was $210 a week. So it was $210 times 52. So his total was 210 times 52, which was $10,920. So this is what he has paid. Okay, should have paid 12,000. He, he has paid this. So does he have a tax debt or does he get money back and have a tax refund? And as we can look at this, we can see because he has paid less than he should have, he has a tax debt. Therefore, we say he has a tax debt of, and let's have a look and see how much more he has to pay. So he should have paid 12247 Take away the 10920 that he's got, um, and we get our answer. So 12,247 minus 10,920 is 1,327. So tax debt of 1,327. Okay, the government will tell him he has to pay this money extra because he hasn't paid enough through the year. 
that's called a tax debt. Okay, most of the time people get a tax refund, most of the time the PAYG is more than what the tax payable is. Okay, so that's what we wanted to talk about today, which is Medicare levy PAYG. Okay, and then using that to find our tax debt and tax refund. I hope this is clear. Please uh, have a go yourself with working these out. And if you have any questions, please ask.